Well, good, good morning from a beautifully sunny, cold, crisp April, England. And it's uh, such a nice uh, day today. I'm going to go up on the Cotswolds with my cameras and let's see what happens. So here we are in Bybury. All rather quiet here. There are a few people here. But it's uh, a quiet morning here by the Swan Hotel. So I'm going to hopefully do a little bit of drone flying if I don't get any hassle. I've forgotten my attachments for my GoPro, so hopefully these selfies look okay. And um, it's a beautiful morning, so hopefully we'll get some decent footage. This is Arlington Row, which is a National Trust property now. Um, Henry Ford wanted to take it down stone by stone and take it back to Michigan, but uh, that wasn't allowed to happen. And uh, the Arlington Cemetery in the United States is named after this spot. This is uh, Minster Lovell in the Oxfordshire Cotswolds. There are some places I feel comfortable putting the drone up, but I don't think I'm going to do it here. People get awfully sensitive about it. But it's a beautiful little village, as you will see. It can get a little bit uh, busy with traffic down here on a Saturday morning but uh, you get the idea of this place quintessential England in normal times yeah, obviously you can come and stay here on the banks of the river Windrush. As you can see, there's some beautiful thatched cottages here, which are real houses, not museums. Actually, thatch is not the normal roofing material for Cotswold cottages. Most of our cottages are made of stone roofs, like the one you see here. Here we are in a Oxfordshire churchyard, Minster level. There's a bit of wedding posing going on behind me. This is Minster Level Hall, an old ruined residence. So this is a manor house that was built here on the Level family estate. This place was built in the 1400s and uh, the family estate was established here in the 12, 1100s, I should say. And, um, but it basically went, in, went to ruin, as you can see. Quite why it went to ruin, I really don't know. We know how to find out, don't we? And I will ask Mr. Google at some point when I get home and before I put this up as a video. So there is somebody here walking around in a wedding dress. I can't quite work out what that's all about, but... Uh, 
They sound Spanish. Seem to be two couples here that are posing, one Spanish and one English. Curiouser and curiouser. Uh -oh. I'm guessing that may have been the old vicarage or rectory or parsonage whatever other names they have for these places beautiful spot though now that is what you call a cottage what a beautiful little place Look at the stone roof, amazing. It's called the old post house. Look how the step comes down here, straight onto the road from this cottage, Holly Cottage, in fact. And then the, you've got the bedrock down here, amazing. Lavender Cottage. There's a little cockerel there. Crowing just now, but he's not going to do it on cue for me. I know that. Oh, well, one did. And looks like they're nesting in these... Uh, ornamental plant pots check out that one in front of me there unless they're doing something else which is also always possible a lot of movement going on in there What a place for a seat. What a view. So I'm now on the back road between uh, Whitney and Burford, past uh, Minster Level. And um, I'm gonna fire the drone up. Bloody cyclists. Oh, I'm one, aren't I? I'm going to fire the drone up and just see if I can get a few shots of the the landscape. Right in the distance there on the ridge of that hill is the main A40, which is a very busy road from Oxford down to Cheltenham.
This beautiful little Cotswold village is called Tainson. It also comes with pre-recorded bird song. This cottage the little bit at the end was added on a few years ago, but very much in keeping with the rest of it. It's the cyclists. So let's have a look at another church. This one in Tainton. This little place. I realise uh, some people find it surprising that our churches are open, apparently without security. They're not all. Not all of them are actually, but. Uh, Let's see if this one is. At least there's some decent people around. Oh, yes it is. It's got a single bell by the look of it. You can see the, the rope here. Oh. Sweet little church. We'll have a look and see when it was built. I love this, a slight history of church and village. <laughs> Basically, Tainton was uh, renowned for its stone, and a lot of the stone from here was used to build Blenheim Palace, which is only probably 20 miles from here. And uh, it says here that the church dates from 1450, although almost certainly there was another building on the site before that. Just come round to the back of the church so as we can see it in sunlight. Pigeon flying across. And on the ground here, you may be able to see we have primroses. Well, what a beautiful final resting place this is for those who would like to uh, end their days in a place like this. Peaceful, except for the uh, rather loud, en loud engine of the mower in the background. And it's still rather nice uh, not having the leaves on the trees. You can see far more. I can hear a woodpecker just above the din of the uh, the mower. My guess is it won't come through onto the camera.
This cottage looks all shut up at the moment. Probably a second home, unable to be used during COVID times. And the roof of the barn looks as if it needs some attention. Interesting how such incredibly expensive real estate and is prized to look as rustic as it does. It might be uh, a bit of a shock to see red like this, but it's a very British thing to see a phone box in the middle of the countryside. Some of them are now used as libraries. Some of them still have telephones in them. And a lot of them have defibrillators. I don't know what's in here. It's empty. Let's hope somebody's going to use it for something. You can probably hear the woodpecker. Pecking on cue. Gorgeous place. This looks like it's the private garden of the cottage behind me. Primrose Cottage. Also all locked up at the moment. We're now driving into Great Barrington. Great Barrington is the place where all the other Barringtons in Massachusetts and anywhere else in the world, they're all named after this place. It's just worth a mention that, that this is one of those villages in the Cotswolds that is wholly or partly owned by the estate. And if you look at the paintwork on the doors of this property, on the windows of the property across here, everything is painted the same colour. So, even the bin here is painted that colour. Here we have a, a defibrillator. Now you see the all the paintwork is all the same. I'm not saying that there are no uh, owned properties here, but there may well not be. Lovely little cottage here in behind a yew tree with a number on the gate, 46. So if you want to live here, you've got to rent. This little place is called Windrush, which takes its name from the river, which flows into the Thames eventually. I just thought this was a pretty spot. Daffodils and primroses. So this is a typical Cotswold scene. Very stony field ahead, couple of barns. I'm just gonna have a little fly around. I love these old Cotswold barns. This one looks ripe for redevelopment. A lot of them have been uh, turned into homes because they're no longer suitable for storing stuff. 
Love the black thorn below in flower and the fluffiness of the trees, the leafless trees. As we approach the meanders of the river Windrush. The river Windrush runs down through Burford and down towards Oxford and eventually uh, flows into the River Thames. This is just a, such a typical Cotswold landscape. Looks like there's a footpath or several footpaths down there that you can walk along. Absolutely wonderful, gorgeous. got back just before the uh, drone plummeted from the sky battery very low these secondary Cotswold roads are uh, look absolutely beautiful at this time of year with the with the blackthorn and later the hawthorn and then other flora appearing You'll notice how straight the roads are, and um, I can only attribute this to the uh, the Roman roads that were built here, obviously 2,000 years ago. These would have been ways that quite possibly the, the Romans built. Well, I'm afraid that's about it for today because uh, I need to get home. Um, this uh, woodland behind me, give it a, another couple of weeks, the leaves will be appearing on the trees and the the ground will be carpeted in bluebells. Um, but for now it's uh, still very wintry. It's got its winter coat on. So uh, anyway, oh, I heard another woodpecker. Um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, this was something a little bit different. Uh, I visited the eastern side of the Cotswolds, the, much of it in Oxfordshire, and uh, if you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you're interested in other similar stuff, and um, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.